Reporting on June 10, 2023, Illinois' Department of Innovation and Technology said, recently suffered a ransomware attack caused by cyber criminals exploiting a vulnerability in a widely used file transfer system. The attack, attributed to the CL0P ransomware gang, occurred on May 31st. They exploited a previously unknown vulnerability in the MoveIt transfer system, infecting web applications and stealing data from databases. Illinois' Department of Innovation and Technology disconnected affected systems and initiated a forensic analysis. The full extent of the incident is still being determined, but it is expected to impact many individuals. Once finalized, a public notice will be issued, and a call center will be set up to provide assistance to those affected. Reporting on June 10, 2023. In the world of cybercrime, a notorious group called CLOP, believed to be based in Russia, has issued an ultimatum to British and other targeted companies. This comes after a significant hack that compromised payroll data of over 100,000 employees from organizations like the BBC, British Airways, and Boots. The group, known for its cyber exploits, posted a notice on the dark web in broken English, warning affected companies to contact them before June 14th or risk having their private data exposed. The hackers gained unauthorized access to databases by exploiting a popular business software service called MoveIt, affecting numerous companies worldwide. Among the victims were Aer Lingus, the government of Nova Scotia, and the University of Rochester. Experts at Microsoft have attributed the hack to CLOP based on their analysis of the techniques used. Reporting on June 10, 2023, the University of Manchester, one of the UK's largest universities, recently fell victim to a cyber incident where hackers gained unauthorized access to its systems and likely copied data. The university expressed apologies. Internal teams, assisted by an external support company, are currently investigating the extent of the data breach. While it is unclear whether it was a ransomware attack or an attempt to steal sensitive research, the university advised its 40,000 students and 12,000 staff members to remain vigilant for phishing emails. The incident has been promptly reported to relevant authorities, including the Information Commissioner's Office, the Office for Students, the National Cyber Security Center, and the National Crime Agency. The impact on the university's highly restricted data service, which protects sensitive research data, remains unknown at this time. Reporting on June 11, 2023, cybersecurity firm Obsidian discovered a successful ransomware attack on SharePoint Online, Microsoft 365, through a compromised admin account. The attack was carried out by a group called Zero Mega, who gained elevated privileges and removed existing administrators. The attacker stole files and uploaded preventleakage.txt files for communication and extortion. Obsidian believes this type of attack may increase due to inadequate SaaS security programs. Implementing multi-factor authentication MFA, is crucial, but even with MFA, attackers can exploit stolen credentials. The report suggests strengthening SaaS controls, minimizing privileges, revoking risky integrations, and analyzing audit logs to detect breaches or insider threats. AI presents both risks and opportunities for cybersecurity in organizations. 1. Advanced attacks. Adversarial machine learning techniques can be used to bypass AI-powered defenses by exploiting vulnerabilities in the algorithms themselves. Two. Data poisoning. AI systems rely on large amounts of data. If attackers manipulate or poison the training data, they can introduce biases or trick the AI into making incorrect decisions. 3. Lack of transparency. Some AI models, such as deep neural networks, are considered black boxes, making it challenging to understand how they reach their decisions. 4. Insider threats. AI systems often have access to sensitive data, and insider threats can exploit AI capabilities to steal or manipulate this data. Professionally crafted and humanized emails can be produced. Reporting on June 12, 2023, a Romanian hacker named Mihai Ionuț Panescu has been sentenced to three years in a U.S. federal prison for his involvement in running a bulletproof hosting service called PowerHost.ro. 
This service helped cybercriminals distribute malware, including the Gozi virus and Zeus Trojan, for stealing financial information. Ponescu rented servers and IP addresses, allowing cybercriminals to remain anonymous and launch attacks. He was also accused of enabling other cybercrimes like DDoS attacks. Ponescu was detained in Colombia after being arrested in Romania in 2012. He pleaded guilty to lesser charges and must forfeit $3.51 million. Two other operators involved in the Gozi malware were previously arrested but released. The malware's source code leaked online in 2013 and is now used in various bank attacks. Reporting on June 12, 2023, the Kaiserslautern University of Applied Sciences, HS Kaiserslautern, has become the latest German-speaking university to fall victim to a ransomware attack. The incident, confirmed on Friday, resulted in the university's entire IT infrastructure being taken offline, including email accounts and the telephone system. Almost all services available to the institution's students have been affected, with computer pools and the library remaining closed until further notice. The university has warned students and staff not to switch on their work computers, as they may also be compromised. Several other German-speaking universities, as well as private companies, have experienced similar attacks in recent months. Companies like Rheinmetall and Bitmark, as well as drug development giant Evotech, experiencing similar incidents in the past months. Reporting on June 12, 2023, Switzerland's federal administration was hit by a cyber attack on Monday, causing disruptions to the websites of various authorities and state-linked companies. The finance ministry confirmed that the same, no-name, group responsible for a previous attack on the Swiss parliament carried out this latest attack. The attack, known as a distributed denial-of-service (DDoS) attack, flooded the websites with malicious traffic, making them inaccessible. The National Cyber Security Center NCSC, is collaborating with affected units to analyze the attack and determine appropriate measures. In a separate incident, a technology firm called Xplain, which supplies software to government departments, experienced a ransomware attack. The firm attributed the attack to the Play Ransomware Group, which also targeted Swiss media outlets. Reporting on June 15, 2023, Floating Point Group FPG, an institutional trading desk specializing in cryptocurrencies, recently suffered a cyber attack resulting in a substantial loss of approximately $15 million to $20 million in crypto. FPG had implemented security measures, including engaging external auditors for cybersecurity audits and penetration testing, which earned them a SOC2 certification. Upon discovering the breach, FPG promptly secured all wallets and locked third-party accounts. The firm's account segregation strategy helped mitigate the overall impact of the attack. As a precautionary measure, FPG has temporarily halted trading, deposits, and withdrawals. To address the incident, FPG is collaborating with the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, regulators, and Chainalysis. Reporting on June 15, 2023, a new version of the Gravity Rat Android malware has been discovered, disguised as messaging apps BingeChat and Chatico. The malware targets military personnel in India and the Pakistan Air Force, posing as cloud storage and entertainment apps. This chat app not available on Google Play Store, Gravity Rat tricks victims into downloading the malicious apps through fake personas on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Once installed, the malware secretly collects sensitive information from the infected device and sends it to a remote server. What sets this new version apart is its ability to steal WhatsApp backups and receive commands to delete specific files. The threat actor behind Gravity Rat is suspected to be based in Pakistan and has been targeting military personnel in India and the Pakistan Air Force by disguising the malware as cloud storage and entertainment apps. Reporting on 15, 2023, Shell has confirmed being impacted by a breach carried out by the Klopp ransomware gang, targeting the Moveit file transfer tool. This is the second time Shell has been targeted by Klopp. The company stated that their core IT systems were unaffected, but a small number of employees and customers were affected. Other organizations in the UK, including the BBC, British Airways, and Boots, were also affected by the breach. Ofcom, 
the country's communications regulator, had some confidential information and employee data compromised. Transport for London, which operates public transport in the capital, has also confirmed being impacted by the incident, with personal data of up to 13,000 drivers being stolen. The Klopp gang aims to extort companies by threatening to leak stolen information. Progress, which develops MoveIt, has announced a second vulnerability affecting the software. Reporting on June 16, 2023, top U.S. cybersecurity officials have confirmed that multiple federal agencies have been impacted by cyber attacks on the file transfer tool MoveIt. The attacks, orchestrated by the Klopp ransomware gang based in Russia, have compromised several entities. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, is working with the FBI to assist the affected agencies. While the extent of the breach is being investigated, CISA reports no significant impact on the civilian.gov enterprise. The vulnerabilities in MoveIt are being exploited to steal information stored in the application at the time of intrusion. The Department of Energy confirmed a data breach and is cooperating with law enforcement and CISA. The affected agencies have not been disclosed, but the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant and Oak Ridge Associated Universities are among those mentioned.